Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Carlton Duncan. Today we're going to be doing something that I've been requested by a number of people to do, and that is show you how I make homemade bacon. And all we're going to do, we're going to season this up a little bit. We're going to put some cure on it. So let's get going. Okay, what I have here is a five pound piece of pork belly that the butcher cut for me, our local butcher cut for me. And it's a pretty good, pretty good looking piece of meat here. So what I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna apply some cure for it. And we're gonna be using Morton's Tender Quick. And what we're gonna do, it calls for, this is a five pound piece of meat. And what it calls for is one tablespoon per pound of cure. So I've, in this, I, in this little empty shaker I have, I put five tablespoons of Martin Instant Too Quick. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put half of it on this side, then we're gonna flip it over, and we're gonna put half of it on the other side. And uh, this is a really easy way to, just gonna put half of it on here. We're just gonna take our time so that we get about half of it on. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one end and one side. And we're just gonna keep going over it till we get about half of it on. And don't worry about what we're, what little bit we're spilling out here on the side. I'll show you how we take care of that. Cause we're gonna use all of this. And then when we turn it over, we're gonna do the other side and the other end and the other long side. All right, we've used about half. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna turn this over and we're gonna put the rest of this on this side, the fat side. Just gonna keep applying it. Keep going over it till we use all of this. Because we wanna use all, because it's, Tender quick you use per per pound of meat. And this since this is five pounds, you want to use five tablespoons of cure. And this is a kind of a uh, this process takes about a week, but man, when you get through, you've got such outstanding bacon. It's incredible the bacon that you get out of this. Okay. We've got it all put on here. Just a few little rocks in there. We'll take care of that later. All right, now then. We've got that done. Next thing I'm going to do, I've got some brown sugar here. And we're just gonna, this, we're just gonna take about five tablespoons of this brown sugar. And we're just gonna spread it out on here. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna put a little bit of brown sugar on it, press it in. Okay. Now we're gonna turn this back over. And we're gonna put some more on this side. And I'm not too worried about the chunks in here because uh, over the next five to seven days that this is curing. There's gonna be a lot of moisture pulled out of this pork belly during the curing process and these will dissolve. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I've got a two gallon Ziploc bag here, storage bag. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this pork belly into this bag. And I'm not worried about the brown sugar and stuff falling off of it. That's not an issue for me. Because what we're fixing to do, we're gonna take all of this, the cure and everything that we kinda spilt on the... And we're putting that in here too. Okay. 
and over the next seven days this will all incorporate so that what little cure there is will be in there and now we're going to take what's the little chunks left in this and we're going to dump them in there okay Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to seal this up really well. Right. Okay, Let's see if we can get some of this air out of it. There we go. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put this in the refrigerator and we're going to let it sit for five to seven days. And every day we're going to bring this out of the refrigerator and we're just going to turn this over and we're just going to massage it a little bit, put it back in the refrigerator. The next day we'll come out, turn it over, massage it a little bit, and you'll, be, you'll know whenever this thing is cured because it'll get a real firm texture to it. It's going to take five to seven days, at least five days, depending on the piece of meat, could take seven days. So I'm going to get this in the refrigerator, and when we get ready to cure this, I mean, when we get ready to smoke this, I'll be back with you in seven days.